everyone, it's the Neon Gamer here, and we are back for part two of the challenges. This is gonna have challenges three, four, and five. So in this challenge, we've got so the same throw out your starting items. And now you've got a shot unreal shotgun with 999 musket balls. But now we've only got five life crystals. But now that I've wreath so um if you haven't seen the first video, I've made all these challenges. And I think I've made the f I made the first one that I did in the first episode. This is challenge three, by the way. But um Challenge number three it says. Welcome to challenge number three. Um the first one I made too hard because it was just grenades and like not good enough armor. If I hadn't made if I'd given um the um, the greaves as well would have been a bit easier. So we've got a pretty good weapon. We only have 200 health instead of 300 in the other challenges. So let's not waste our bullets. Let's just, like, do nothing. Hopefully we find some chests, though. We have 999 bullets, so it should be pretty good. Okay, I'm not gonna go that way. This is not like a custom map or anything, it's just a little challenge that I made myself to see how good I could do a boss fight. So in the last episode, the first one was 99 grenades, and, uh, and, um, I think it was tungsten or silver, yeah, silver top, silver, um, helmet, and, and, uh, ch chainmail. The second one was Star Fury, uh, with full lead armor, 300 health, and, um, yeah, that was, yeah, and then, um, th this one is 200 health, no armor, unreal shotgun, and 999 musket balls, but we've already used seven. Come on, my aim is terrible on guns, that's why I'm not, I, that's why I haven't done a range playthrough yet. I've started, um... I've started a, a mage in French, though, but most of my videos will be in English. The French is just for some people that want to see a Terraria Let's Play, but that don't understand all the English ones. Oh yeah, I've already been done here. I just have to get rid of the vines. There we go. These challenges are meant to be hard, so if you try them yourself, you just get if you get yourself the same items. It's meant to be hard, so if you can't beat them, it's just they're they're, they're meant to be pretty hard. But like the Star Fury one, I accidentally made too easy, so it was pretty easy. We ended up like at 50 health at the end of the battle, and we killed him like no problem. Okay, maybe we can get some mushrooms to heal up for a bit. Once we get into the boss battle. What's in here? Nothing. On. Looks like there's more, but we can't dig, so. Yeah. This is basically some... It's basically just a world where you can't dig or destroy anything or place anything unless you get some like super good stuff from chests so i changed the rules a bit so um so at first i i, I thought it was just gonna be just that chest that's all you get but i thought of it and now you're allowed to like look for chests in the first day so yeah i'm just gonna look, go look for like just to see if there's anything in the snow biome just at the surface. Just a slime. Die. Yeah, 26 range damage plus 7. Minus the defense. Darn, it's not much. Mushroom. Pots. Pots are always good. There's a chest here. Yes, chest. 
Boomerang? Not bad. Godly wooden boomerang. That's not bad, actually. It's really good. Night Owl potion. That's good. Recall potion so we can get back home. Sure. What did I just do? Yeah, I, I dropped them. That's what I thought. See much in this cave. Oh, yes, another chest. Shine potion, good. Yes, please. Lesser healing potions, more, that's good. Grenades, meh, they won't do much. Spear, no. So now we've got a shine potion. That's good. Okay, I'm not gonna go deeper. Well, actually, no, okay. That's a cliff. If that was a cliff, if there's a cliff, I'm not going to. Okay, so I'm just in the underground ice biome. Okay, I'm gonna go back home. There. Should be almost night. So I'm gonna get the spawner from the chest. So we're ready to fight it. So now I've got actually a few buffs. And... So we've got Night Owl and Shine, so we can see better. We've now got Health Potions, and we've got a Godly Boomerang. Let's see if this does more damage or what. Probably won't do more damage, but it might be a good source of damage. Oops. Oops. Whoa. Kill the bunny. Wait a second. It's gonna kill him. I'm trying to kill him on the way back. Oh, I killed him on the way there. 18 is a critical? That's actually really bad. Yeah, no offense, boomerang, but you're not gonna help at all. So, sorry if you're godly, but whatever, bye. Well, actually, no, I'm gonna keep him just in case something bad happens. Okay, then night, no. So, if you've seen part one, it's, it's, they are pretty, pretty, pretty hard boss challenges. Because you've got no arena, you can't build one. They were easy to create, since all it was was choose weapons and armor and make rules, how many, how much life. So you've got really, we're gonna take damage really quickly, and we're gonna die really quickly. But, we have a really good weapon, so hopefully that'll like, make up for it. Golly, wouldn't boomerang, don't need you. Just delete it completely. Okay, just buff buff there this should work well this better work well die there now can we spawn it no it's almost night it's almost night it's like dusk right now please please i don't really want to spawn you okay we're gonna beat him we're gonna beat him right okay let's do this Yes, this is easy. We just have to not get hit. Ow. I thought that, like, the no defense thing. It might have been fair if, um... Oh, we got the trophy and the mask. How cool is that? Um, we... I think it might have been fair if I had, like, just regular 100 health. But that, those buffs helped a bit. We didn't even have to use the healing potion, which is pretty sweet. That was pretty easy. So, I'll be right back when I- wait, first I'm gonna die, I'm gonna kill myself somehow. How do I kill myself? I wanna kill myself. Something kill me, please. 
I'm gonna kill myself, then I'll be right back at the next challenge. Come on. Penguin, no, you can't kill me. Something, please, show up to kill me, please. This is night. Just send a freaking, like, whatever. Yes, zombie Eskimo, that's fine. Demon Eye, too. Demon Eye's do more damage. Demon Eye hit me. Like, literally hit me. Demon Eye. Demon Eye, no, the Demon Eye keeps dodging me. Ha! Huh. I killed your, I killed your, I killed your dad, your big, your big dad. Nah, okay, good, I died. Unreal shotgun and everything. Okay, good. Superior copper short sword. That's still terrible. But whatever. Alright, so. I will be right back when I am in the next challenge. Hey everyone, I am back. And so we are in challenge number four. So we have to throw out our starting items. Slow copper axe. That wouldn't have been good anyways. Everybody wants a fast copper axe. Necro Helmet, Necro Greaves, a Murderous Silver Bow, Flaming Arrows, 8 Heart Crystals, so 260 health, and a Suspicious Looking Eye, we're just gonna get rid of our Copper Short Sword once and for all, there. This is gonna be a bit harder than the last one. I think that's what I would say because we we've got the necro which like enhances range damage. We we've got ten defense. But the last one we had a really good weapon, so we killed him super quickly. But let's try at least. Let's try to kill that slime. So during the day we can practice our aiming skills or whatever. We're not really gonna need to aim at him because he's huge. So yeah, so if you don't know yet, the goal of these challenges are to kill the Eye of Cthulhu on the first night with the items that you find in the in the spawn chest. I've created these challenges myself and they are for me to test my um, boss fighting skills. It was my friend's idea to actually um, make these, but I made them. So it's just like adventure. Hopefully we can actually get back. I don't think we will actually. I don't think we'll be able to get back. I hope we do actually. Okay, we're not gonna go there. I really hope we can get back to this jump. Oh no. Please let me make this jump. Great. Great. I'm stuck here. Actually, I'm just gonna go back to spawn and I will be right back there we go okay I'm back here I just exited the world and joined back so it's not much I didn't like cheat flop wings or anything but don't need day blooms day blooms are useless in this this is a first night challenge with just random items so not random just like some items that might be useful come on come on I'm trying to hit that slime but I hit the stupid butterfly instead where's the slime go there no no yes got it okay i don't need the wooden ones if you're giving me wooden ones i'm just gonna use them randomly on butterflies no no on the slime come on i'm really bad at this there! Took a while. Oh, missed. Nice dodging skills. So we've got a murderous silver bow, so we've got extra damage, speed, and critical tr strike chance. So it's to do more damage faster. We've got the. It would have been too overpowered if I'd added the chest plate because that would have been. 16 defense plus the set bonus, which is probably like increased range damage. So it would have been pretty overpowered. So I only took the top and the bottom. Helmet and greaves. So it's almost night. This video is going to be a bit longer than the f part one because it's going to have three, four, and five. 
and the first one only had one and two. So there's five challenges in total. I made these all myself. <laughs> that was the same arrow that I just picked up. I just shot in the air. Okay, whatever. Flaming arrow here. Hello, God. What's down here? Squirrel? Apparently there's a squirrel down here somewhere. I think I saw something. Oh! Butterflies! Oh. Oops. Duh! Ha! Ha! Forget it. Oh, I got him in the last one. With a critical hit, too. Okay, I want that arrow, but I can't pick it up. Because I can't mine blocks since I don't have a pickaxe because I've had to throw out my starting items. I'm just going to get rid of the... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Actually, it looks like the flaming arrows, they have, um... They fall down faster than the wooden ones. Oh, well. Whatever. I only use the wooden ones so I don't actually, like, waste them on... The Eye of Cthulhu because they won't do as much damage and they won't set them on fire, so... These do six, wooden ones do four, and these ones set on fire, I think. Um, I think, I think the wooden ones do four, I'm pretty sure. We can check. I'll just get one. Come on. Come on. There. Yeah, they do four. Okay, it's almost night, we can do this. So we lost number one, and we beat him in number two and number three. So we can do number four, probably. Hopefully. Can you stop killing butterflies with my arrows? Even though I have 950 left, almost. Okay, just a tiny bit more time. If I had gotten Jester's arrows, if I had taken Jester's arrows, I would have been, I would have been like killing him for sure. But I've got flaming, so like any any arrow like stronger than flaming would probably have been a enough to kill him easily. Start the night music already. Start it. Start it. I want to spawn this dude. This fat dude. Okay. So come on, please be night soon. It's gonna be night in like a few seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, five, four, three, two, one, zero. World, do you hear me? Okay, there. Ah, wrong button. There. Where are you? Where are you? That's so. All right, this is fun. I think this is like the first one that was extremely hard or what? But I think I made I think I think I made these these like good. Like the, this one, this one is like a this one is a good level of difficulty. A good level of difficulty. The first one was way too hard. The second and third were a bit too easy. Actually, the second was good. It's the third that was really easy with the shotgun. But the, the second was good. The second and the fourth were good. And... Oh, no. No, it's just midgets. The second and the third were good. Sorry, the second and the fourth are good. You haven't seen the fifth yet. The first one was too hard and the third was too easy. Okay. So that's like our little rating for now. He's almost at half health. He's taking fire damage. Take the fire damage. Take that fire damage. Oh man, it keeps dropping. They keep dropping wooden arrows and then, I, then it doesn't do as much damage. Oh, come on. Stupid little mini eyeball. So annoying. 
the zombies too. There's so many of them. So many just mobs just attacking me at the same time. There's midgets that he spawns too. Wow, I keep getting hit. He's not even in half form yet. Almost though. Yes, no, he's not gonna spawn the midgets anymore. Okay. No, 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 he's gonna kill me. What the heck, there's so many mobs. This is gonna be too hard, I'm not gonna be able to do this. There's, like, any good Terraria player can, can do this. Yeah, I died. Ah, <sighs> well, we lost number four. It was a good difficulty, so then I'm not good enough at this game to play that. Okay, well, I died, so that's two out of four, which is pretty good. So I'll be right back when we get to number five. I'm back, and we are in challenge number five. Here is our sign. Still says, discard your... Oh, man, that's pretty bad. I'm, I'm happy I didn't have to use my copper short sword. We've got full copper armor. So that's, what, um, five defense with the set bonus? We've got two lesser healing potions, sure. A quick aglet, this is the only one where I put accessories. Five mana crystals. No health crystals, and a mythical flower of fire. So we've got a pretty good weapon. But our health is terrible, we've got no heart crystals. We have six mana stars, which is pretty good. This does tons of damage. So I think we should be fine. We've got five defense, six defense. Wait, how six? Is the set bonus two defense? Wait, um, where's my cursor? Uh-oh. I think I just messed something up. Okay, whatever. Where's the cursor? Okay, there it is. Couldn't find my cursor. Oh, set bonus is two defense. Okay, I thought it was one. I guess it's over wood armor. Because before they were all, the set bonuses were all one defense. So I was surprised when I saw that the, the bonus for lead armor was like 3, I think it was. So I got 11 instead of thinking. I, I, was, I thought I was going to get 9 and I got 11. So let's just try to explore. Where did that just kill? Probably some bird or whatever. We're going to just explore a bit. See if we can find a chest, because chests are really useful in these. Okay, nope, nothing this way. I don't like ice biomes. Guide the way, fireball. Bounce into the bird. Bird, stop running away, or flying away in your case. So they don't go very high, but they can get a nice bounce, which is nice. So let's see if there's a chest in here. Oops. Nope. Nope. Waha! No, I hit that. I can I can make this jump. I know that I can make this jump. I better be able to. Oh, I keep hitting that. I think that's stopping me from doing the jump. Darn. This is really hard. I didn't know Terraria made natural parkour. This is really hard. I'm trying to get, like, I think there's a chest over there. Actually, no, I think this is, that's the chest that I got the aglet from. I got that aglet from a chest that was over there. Because I found this challenge was going to be too hard. It was just copper armor and no health. So I had an aglet so we could move fa faster. So, yeah, forget that jump. So there's like nothing but like recall potions or something like that in a chest. I should have added I should have added like a warding mana flower and some mana potions, but that would have been make it way too easy. Because we've got a mythical flower of fire which does so much damage. And it's very fast. I think it lowers mana cost. Yes, minus 12% mana cost. So it only uses whatever it is. 
15 mana instead of, I think, like, 20 or something like that. Or 18. So, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. There, that was easy because it just ricochets super low. Like that. Oh, jumped over the bunny. There we go. This is the last challenge. This uh, this video, this part two has been very long since we're doing two, th uh, three, four, and five. And in the first one, we only did the first two. So yeah. And the characters I'm using are just five randomly generated hardcore characters. They're just random hardcore characters, basically. Oh, I should have made one where you get like a, um, just a regular weapon. And then you get, you get like a, like, I don't know, some sword, like a weak sword. And then you get a flamethrower, but you don't get any ammo for it. So you have to kill slimes in the first day so you can get ammo for it. So you can kill the Eye of Cthulhu with it. That would have, that would have been really good. That would have a point to being in the day. So it's almost night. I'm not cutting inside the challenges because that would make it too, um, that'd make it go too quick. So I don't want to cut anything inside the challenges. So I'm just showing the five challenges. I'm cutting in between them, but that's it. All right. Almost there. It's almost night. We can do this. We're gonna kill him. We've got two healing potions. Two lesser healing potions. No! That jump is so hard. Oh, I got it. I actually got it. I actually made the jump just by doing it right next to it. See so, ya. Yeah. Oh, there's just two more healing potions. Okay. It's pretty good. It's a nice reward for making that jump. And there's nothing but like a living wood over there, so that's nothing. Wait, let's see what there is in this pot just by shooting the ball down there. Just torches, not much good. Okay, let's get back to spawn here. Make the jump! Yes! It's easier to do on the way back. Okay, this has been a long video, but I want to show the entirety of things. So I want to show the entire thing, the entire battle and everything. Alright, this is almost it's almost night. We can do this. We're gonna kill him so badly. We're gonna beat him. 90 copper coins, not bad. So we're two for four. We lost one, beat two and three, and lost four. We lost four because we didn't have enough health. And our weapon wasn't good enough. If I had a better bow, I could have done that. But sil silver bow with flaming arrows, like, it's possible. But we got him down to second form, but we lost... Or did we get him down to second form? I think we barely got him down to second form. Yeah, let's do this! Regen, regen, regen. Okay, good. Let's go. Where are you? This is easy. This is gonna be easy. You just need to re mana regen. That's the hardest part. Please fall and star. Hit him, hit him. No. Yes! Thanks for the mana star. Yes, 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 yes. Give me mana stars. Give me those mana stars. Take the fire damage. Take that fire damage. No, oh, it almost killed the zombie. No, heal. No, I wanted to kill that zombie. Oh, God. This is really hard. What? Oh, what? I didn't even notice I was that low on health. Okay, well, we lost number five, so we are really bad at this. I think we should have gotten better armor and more health. But, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. This is the Neon Gamer here who just finished five challenges and lost three out of five. Goodbye.